A rhinoplasty, or what a lot of people refer to as a nose job, refers to any surgical or non-surgical alteration of the nose. There's a lot of different motivations for seeking rhinoplasty. It might be somebody is not happy with the way their nose looks, but also at the same time, it might not breathe the way it should or function the way that it should. Rhinoplasty is one of my favorite procedures because it exemplifies this marriage between form and function. The rhinoplasty journey is a very involved journey and it's really important to understand that. And when I counsel my patients, I spend a lot of time so that they really understand what to expect and how the healing process occurs. Surgery is trauma to the nose. You're creating trauma, but hopefully for the betterment of how the nose breathes and also how the nose looks. The surgery is the same day surgery. You come in, you go home the same day. You have a cast on the outside and usually splints on the inside of the nose. During that first week, you feel pretty lousy. People are pretty congested simply from the stress of surgery, the trauma of surgery, but also having the packing and the cast in the nose. After a week, the cast comes off. There's really a significant amount of swelling. It's the most at this point after surgery. You can get a sense of what the nose looks like, the general shape, but really it's a lot of swelling that takes a while to subside. But it's important for patients to recognize that the aftercare is really important. I really instruct my patients to keep that incision nice and moist. So I give them an ointment and I tell them to keep it caked on there for a full week after. I tell them if you can see the incision, if you can see the suture, then you don't have enough ointment on there. The problem is if you let that incision dry, you get crust and clot in there and that causes bacteria to grow, it causes the incision lines to open up and can really weaken those sutures and lead to unsightly scarring. So patients that do really well are patients that really spend a lot of time taking care of that incision during that first week in the post-operative period. Now I would say it takes about six to eight weeks for about 50% of the swelling to go down. It takes probably an additional three to six months for about 80% of the swelling to go down and the rest of the swelling takes about a full year. So you're still healing throughout that first year. A lot of people might just simply focus on what the nose looks like. Other people might focus on how the nose functions and breathes. But to be able to do both and fix both is really a challenge, but also very rewarding for surgeons. And that's why I like doing rhinoplasty so much. For more information on procedures and conditions I treat, go to my website, nycfacedoc.com.